were so excited not five minutes ago, and then she turns the camera on, and now you're gonna flake out on me? Don't give him a show. You want a show? Put on a show. <laughs> BTX roots from T Vendor in LA, and today we have a very special video. We are at Disney's California Adventure for their Lunar New Year Festival, and we're here to try out all their delicious tea based treats that they have for today. So, Bianca, why don't you, you know, go ahead. I guess we're off. We got our Sip and Saver Pass, so we're gonna use these on all the fun tea items. Got our little booklet here, so we're ready. Are we ready? We're ready! Say action. Where's the clapper? Damn it. We need a small travel clapper. Oh, okay. that be? Okay, so we're here at Rapid Love and we're gonna have a rosemary oat milk tea. Woohoo! So we have our first tea item. It's a raspberry oat milk latte and it has a Ceylon black tea, raspberry and Demera syrup topped with oat milk and some skewered raspberry. So Bianca, why don't you let us know a little bit about Ceylon tea? So Ceylon tea come from Sri Lanka and it's a black tea. Um, and Sri Lanka is actually one of the biggest suppliers, probably the biggest supplier of black teas in the world. Let's try and let's do like a little lady in the tramp <laughs> oh, okay. kind of thing, okay? All right. So you're tall, so. Here, I'll come down. Thanks, okay. <laughs> I just want to say I love your bag. Oh, that's like creamy. I'm tasting the tea more I than I the thought tea. I would, yeah, yes, yes. which is really oh, nice. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a creamy and tea. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. I hope it's tea. But a lot of times you never know, like they're just made with the tea, but it's not. But I'm really glad I mean, that it is. Yeah. And it's <laughs> Lunar New Year, and Chinese love tea, and I love that. So yes. I'm so pleasantly surprised with that. Because typically you get like a tea latte at these kind of things, and they're very like, overly sweet, and you don't taste the actual like, you can really base. taste the tea. Yeah. You can. Okay, so we need to rate this mm. on a scale of one to five. Okay, so I think we're starting off really strong. I'm gonna go ahead and give this like a 4.3. Yeah. On a scale of five. yeah, I'd agree. It's like a four, 4.2. I'm just not a big oat milk fan. I don't you typically like though? oat milk, but. I like that I can but, taste yeah. the tea as much as I do, exactly. and you can actually taste the tea more than like the raspberry. Anything else. Mm -hmm. Raspberry is like secondary. Love it. Good job. It was Thanks. sweet, but not like overly sweet. So you gotta, yeah, definitely. Good job, Disney. You gotta give them their props with this one. They did a good job. Now, on to the next. You want a raspberry? Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. It's so good. You have to try it. Oh my god. Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, that was Jennifer my Jennifer Coolidge impression. We're getting the strawberry milk tea macaroon. Supposedly it has a strawberry buttercream with a milk tea center. So we just got back from getting a strawberry milk tea macaroon and I'm super excited to try it. So let's go! Yes. So it has a strawberry buttercream with a milk tea center. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. That cross section she said. Look at that cross it's section. The, middle, the filling. It's the filling. cross section. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm obsessed with this. Oh my god. Wait, I didn't get any of the cross section. Yeah, the ears don't have it. That's my only complaint. Because if you look at the ears, it's just purely strawberry buttercream. And I think that's kind of like a jip. If you're gonna say it's milk tea, it should be throughout the entire thing. That's just my opinion. I get zero tea. It's it's good if you like macaroons, but you don't I, get the tea I get flavor. strawberry milk and cross section. Yeah, I'm not picking up on no, but it's tea at all. Good. It's but it's tart, tasty. tasty, tart, tasty. Everything that a macaron should be. Exactly. And Disney always does do a really good macaron, actually. On to the next. No, we need to give our rating. Oh wait, sorry. Not on to the next. Okay, so we're gonna do a rating from one to five. Uh, this one's gonna be like a 3.7. No, oh, that's generous. No, you, wait, no, because you're right. It is generous. I'm being nice. And if my ears will tell you, I'm not nice. No. I'm See, gonna give it a 2.2. Oh, okay, you're even nicer than I am because uh -huh. I'm giving it a 2. I like the consistency, the filling is nice, but I don't taste any tea in it. And if you're gonna put tea in the name, 
I want to taste it. I think if I don't taste cheese, you can't get higher than a three. Yeah. Mine's a two. Just like my favorite baseball player, Derek Jeter. Take a bite. The camera eats two. Camera eats two. It's like those people who are like, first bite, bestie. <laughs> All right, so we got our next tea-based item. It is a it's beer. Yeah, it's beer. It's jasmine tea beer from Stereo Brewing Co. out of Placentia, California. So it's local. It's an OC-based company. So I'm not looking forward to this one. Jasmine tea lager made with a jasmine green tea. Give us a little background on maybe how like a green tea is scented <laughs> with a jasmine. So typically, uh, the process for which green tea is made, it's uh, plucked, withered. Uh, dried and during the drying process uh, they put jasmine flowers underneath it so that the tea leaves can be scented with it. Um, that being said, let's give this a try. Yep. Okay. Okay, well that doesn't give me good, good vibes. I get like the essence, like the very slightest essence of jasmine. Um, I don't think it's the best use of tea yeah. in this particular beverage. If I had to rate it, because I can taste the tea by default, I have to give it a three. Yeah, and I'm not like a beer drinker. And I would I would drink this personally because it's light enough. Good for you. So like I would maybe give it like a 3.2, but I... Yeah, like Bianca said, you can faintly taste the jasmine, and and I can't taste any tea at all. Yeah, Obviously, it's beer. It tastes like yeah. Beer. The unfortunately that hoppiness that you get with beer is just it's overpowering it. Hoppiness. It's it's a nice Not beer. Not happiness. It's a nice beer, but I don't taste the tea. No tea. Yeah. Can we get um um the hot dog on a stick? A that's, poor nug that's down there. Okay. All right. So here's our next item. It is a green tea iced horchata. I am so excited because obviously it's green. Very green. It's on brand. And I don't want to say it's matcha because matcha should come from Japan. So I think they're calling it a green tea horchata because uh, they're just using green tea powder. Give it a try. All right. Stir it up a little bit. Oh, it is a powder. I'm getting Ooh. really powdery. It's really grainy, mm -hmm. um, but you can definitely taste the green tea. You can. Um, I would definitely say it's not a matcha. Um, it's just a green tea powder. Most matchas from Japan have more of an umami flavor, which I'm really not getting in this at all. No, it's all sweet. And it's super powdery, but I'm not sure if it's like the rice milk, if not. Um, yeah, I like don't know. Matcha is made with rice. And I'm not sure if it's that or if it's the green tea but um hmm. it was very chalky and I'm like very much a texture person and like that it's like protein powder on me no I don't like it I don't like this one. okay it was a little better after you stirred it but oh the texture's really oh, growing me I think if it wasn't powdery it could be good that is diabetes like it's a bit refreshing diabetes you could taste the green tea which they're not lying I there. Guess that, okay, so again, by default, it gets a three. Yeah. But I'm yeah. gonna do myself a favor and give it a 2.9. Yeah, I'd say a three. I would have to agree with you on this one. The texture's just really throwing me. Like, it's I don't shock. like it. I don't like it. I wanna yeah. go on. I wanna move yeah. on. I want next, next. I want next. So we just got back out of line from the Lucky Eight Lantern booth, which is right outside of Little Mermaid. And we have a hibiscus apple soju cocktail. Soju Rita. Soju Rita cocktail. So tequila! Woo! My favorite. So there is tea in this, we promise. Um, I'm gonna cheat a little though because there's so many ingredients I need to read it. So there is tequila, grapefruit liqueur, soju, green apple and hibiscus syrup, house-made hibiscus tea, and lemon juice garnished with a dried apple chip. Is it hibiscus or is it hibiscus with tea? It says it's a house-made hibiscus tea. So just for those of you at home, um, there's tea and then there are herbs. So hibiscus is typically an herb. Um, well, not typically. Hibiscus is an herb. 
Um, so this would be an infusion if there's no actual Camilla sinensis in it. But we're gonna give it a try anyway. Yay! Alright, we're gonna make the trampet. I'm totally the tramp. Okay. Oh. I really like that. Oh, that's tequila. I really like oh, that. Oh, that's liquor. So that goes down smooth. Oh. That's liquor. I don't know why you're tasting the tequila. Because I don't. Maybe smoking for 10 years, obviously maybe, there's tequila in that. Maybe it's because I love tequila in general, so it's really good though. It is really good. Um, hibiscus has a really like distinct tart. flavor and it's really tart. It's nice. It's perfectly sweet. I love it. It goes great in cocktails. So let's give it a rating. Um, oh, that's easy. Five. A five? No yeah. way. You're crazy. I'm going to give it a 4.6. I really like it. I can drink a few of these. It goes down easy. I like a hibiscus tartness. It's all you, babe. All right. On to the next. All right. So we got our next cocktail. I'm so excited. It is. It's got coriander tea. Yeah, it's the dragon cocktail. So it's the year of the dragon. So it's actually named and I'm, I'm gonna cheat again. It has dragonberry rum, white rum, lychee nectar, dragon fruit and Chinese five spice syrups, okay. lime juice, and house made coriander tea garnished with a dried dragon fruit wheel, which we did not get the garnish. So automatically deducting some points there. Yeah. Starting at a four point seven. Yeah. At least. Okay, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Wait, there's like a finishing note that like it starts off sweet. I taste everything that you just mentioned. The five spikes, the coriander tea, the rum, the dragon fruit. I taste it all. This is like, I don't care about the garnish. Five, five, five. It's like a four and a half for me. It starts off nice and sweet, but I don't know. There's something about the finish that's kind of dry. If that makes sense. Like if you like a wine, it's kind of dry. Oh, I found the garnish. Excuse me. There's the garnish at the bottom. Why is it at the bottom? I don't know. But it's there. So still, it doesn't get points for that because it's at the bottom. Can I just try it so I can finish it? You're so close. Just try it so I can finish it. <laughs> Oh wow, Do I can taste the tea. Good. Sweet at the beginning and dry at the end. Yeah. Like, come on, I gotta get some Yeah, it's like a dry wine at the end. It's really interesting. I don't taste much of like the coriander. Let's go get a corn dog. We're actually gonna go get tea taro cheesecake. <laughs> okay, so we're back now and we have a tiger milk tea boba with salted caramel drizzle and salted caramel boba. So when I said I wanted savory, you thought salted caramel yeah, was the answer. Exactly. Let's try it. I love boba. So here we go. You take the first The boba's really squishy and not in like the satisfying boba way. I need another sip because that was all caramel. It's like, it's too soft. You know, like you want that like happy balance between like and not being too firm but not too soft. I think they like definitely overboiled it. Yeah. And that first sip for me was all the tea flavor is nice, it's light. It's like a typical like milk tea. Okay. Like I stirred it a little bit and it tastes quite it tastes a little bit better. I mean that's old caramel. Okay. Rating like a three and a half. Like a three point one. Oh, I love corn dog. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah, it's okay. Come on. Okay. So Bianca's gone off to get her corn dog, so we're gonna go find her. 
we're gonna have a little break. And then I think the next thing we're getting is like a taro milk tea cheesecake, something like that. So we'll be back. We're gonna go recharge. cheesecake and the topping is a whipped taro topping. Is that chocolate? I think so. Okay, well let's right. give it a try. Let's do this. Cheers! Clink, clink, clink! I got none of the base. I got like no base in mine either. Alright, well we're off to a swell start. That's nice. But, um, hold on. I want just the milk tea base. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't influence my, uh... I just want to try the milk tea base, too. Oh, she's in the bathroom. Honestly, I'm not getting taro or milk tea. No, I'm just getting cheesecake. It's, you know what it almost reminds me of? It's almost like when I tried just the milk tea base on its own, it was like the perfume of black tea, if that makes sense. It does, like it didn't taste like, oh, you know what, yes, I'm kind of getting it now. It's a little bit of just like, it's like a whisper of black tea. Yeah, but like a perfume though. Yeah, like it, it didn't taste like as if you were to have a regular like, cup of black tea. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's like hard to explain, but like a perfume is like what it's I see. It's not, it's not really giving black tea. I can see where they no. got it from. You know, it's, it's a milk tea, but it's more milky than anything. It's more cheesecakey than anything. I don't think Cheesecake Factory is going to be buying for this anytime soon, but rating wise, I'd give it maybe a 2.8. Yeah. I was going to say like below a three, like a two and a half. And that's just because, like, if, if I'm buying something that says it has tea in it, like, I want to taste it. I mean, it's nice. If you like cheesecake, it's nice. It's light. It's not too sweet. Enough. Enough. But I'm done talking about this. Let's talk. You're <laughs> wild. All right, so we're heading to Avengers Campus. We're going to go get a, I think it's a strawberry green tea churro. So that'll be interesting. Hey. <laughs> oh, makeup touch up. We need a makeup crew, damn it. Yeah. If you're gonna put me on camera, I need a makeup crew like the Kardashians. I'm gonna do my makeup. That takes so much effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. Okay. <laughs> so much sugar. Hey guys, we're here. Uh, right in front of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, and we have a green tea raspberry, green, strawberry green tea churro, and it looks nothing like the picture. Yeah, but that's okay. We're gonna try it anyway. So it's a, it's a green tea cinnamon dusting. Green tea cinnamon dusting. So it's in the, the cinnamon sugar mixture. Again, so. not expecting a matcha, just expecting ground up yeah. green tea. Yeah. So. So, are we ready? Shot, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. it was stuck, it was stuck. Hold on, I wanna get some of that. Okay. Mmm, it tastes like fruit loops. It does. I don't get it. Like, you know the milk? Yeah. After you eat a bowl of fruit loops or tricks. Mm -hmm. oh, that's no, what it that's tastes like. It but I don't get like um, tea. Oh. At all. It's just a churro. 
with strawberry drizzle on top. I don't like it. Um, Wait, no, hang on. It tastes good. I like good. it. No, it's good. I do don't like get it. us wrong, it tastes good. But um, we're here to try tea things. Yeah, I'm not getting tea. Or I'm not getting tea. Um, hold on. Oh. Okay. Lick just the sugar on its own. You get like a subtle green tea taste. I totally could have licked it up more. It's like really subtle. Do you get it? Yeah. But it's super subtle. But the strawberry. The strawberry yet again overpowers it. It's kind of like macaron. Okay, rating? Two and a half. Tastes good. I would eat it. But it doesn't have tea. No, yeah. Green, yeah, it's too overpowering. I'm not really getting a tea. I'd say about two point. Yeah. 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 We're gonna have to add up all of this stuff and see what the average was for all the tea items. I like the packaging. I do like the packaging. Look, this is like a little teapot. See, this one it says infusion because there's no actual tea in here. It's a chamomile honey infusion. No tea, just herbs. If you see something that says an infusion, um, that typically means that there's no actual tea leaves in there, and that usually will mean that there's no caffeine in it either. So when you say tea, tea refers to the Camilla sinensis leaf. Infusion refers to basically any other herb. We got another infusion here. This one is a apple, lemon, hibiscus, lime leaves, rose, and plum petals. Should we get one to try it? I kind of do. Yeah. of like our number one favorite item. Okay, um, I think the thing that got the highest rating for me was the dragon fruit cocktail. Oh, the dragon cocktail? Yeah. The coriander tea? Oh, I loved it, I loved it. I was not expecting to like it, but I loved it. What about you? Um, I have to say our first item of the day, the raspberry oat milk tea latte, because it was the one thing where I felt like you could taste tea. Like it was very straight to the point. It was a Ceylon black tea, and it was just yummy. I think it was a great balance of sweet tea. Well, that's a wrap for us for today. Like and subscribe for more reviews, tips, tricks, and how to use tea in different ways. We'll be back. I had a whole outro. All right, guys, so this has been your wannabe tea experts at Tea Vendor in LA, signing off from DCA's Lunar New Year Festival hit that subscribe button down below to make sure you follow us for all of our great upcoming adventures for 2024. This has been Siobhan and Bianca signing off from DCA. Bye guys. When I met, I got a whole thing for You practiced. <laughs> My God, you had a script and everything. I was just gonna like and subscribe. <laughs>